Hi everybody, back to the build. It's six days later since I did part one, so um, I haven't actually done anything obviously, apart from I managed to uh, last week just join all these chain links up, if you can see them. So I've now got four of those. So next on the instructions is fitting those onto the towers and the, if you look here there is actually slots to put them in so I'll glue those in place so that's the uh, chain links in place next part according to the instructions is putting the towers actually on the road base but I think I'll let that uh, PBA dry for 10-15 minutes before I start messing about with it the bridge base actually comes in three pieces so I'll glue together and then I'll put that on top and this is obviously the underside so that's the base glued together I'm just going to put a bit of weight on it and let the PBA go off before I go any further so that's the uh, road surface stuck down together so the next part is to actually glue the towers in place and it says in the instructions which makes sense use one of the railings to find the distance of where to place it so I'll do that so that's the towers down glued down so now I've got to uh, cut the chain links and do a join down there they also supply sorry about that these little pieces that go across to join the chain link up so that's the chain link joined up and I put it on its side basically because the next job is to thread the cotton through for the wire support and going by the instructions this is the easiest way to do it right I managed to feed all the cotton through for the chain support but I used a needle, a very fine needle and to um, thread them through and I'm going to leave that bit here so that when I've built the bridge I can tension everything up so that's one out of four done so it's going to be a bit steady job he did say on the instructions you could build this in 30 minutes oh, I certainly couldn't <laughs> So there's all four done, um, like I say I haven't tightened them up yet, I do that at the last job just to try and balance them all out. Wasn't as bad as I thought actually, it took me about three quarters of an hour to an hour to, with a needle and cotton to feed them all through. Right, so the next stage is to fit the actual pillars that go under the towers. So I'll glue those up, fit them. So the bases are on, so now it's just a matter of fitting the railings. So I'll get on with that and we'll have a look when it's done. 
Right, that's all the fences finished. Um, and I've also added to the bottom of the towers, added these strengtheners. So now before I tighten all the strings up, the last part really is fitting these onto the rear of the towers so we can get some supports down there. Which should level it up. Right, so uh, about complete. The last job is to put the wires on the back, which I've just put the brackets on. From here, obviously, up to there. So I feed the uh, cotton through, and we'll have a look. So I've just put a O6O small loco on. Lighting's not brilliant in here. Anyway, so that's it. Finished. So that'll do for part two. Thanks for watching if you're still here. And hopefully I'll have a an update from in the loft soon. Okay, well thanks for watching. Bye for now.